What is up, everybody? This is your boy, Kato. Welcome back to another episode of Kato's Corner, where winners are made. Today, we're going to be discussing XRP and its sudden price movement. Where can the price go from here? You're not going to want to miss this one. Stay tuned. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. So before we kick this thing off, if everybody who is not subscribed already can please hit the subscribe button. That way you get notifications every single time a new video comes out. It'll be greatly appreciated. I'm going to be having a giveaway as soon as I hit 150 subscribers and I will be releasing the details of what I'm going to be giving away the closer we get to it. I also want everybody to know that I am not a financial advisor. and Anything I say and do is not considered to be financial advice. This is just what I am doing and hopefully my tips and tricks can help you along in your financial journey. I am part of the 3T Warrior Academy. My affiliate link is down below. Please go check that out. It's an amazing community with great value. And I also believe that they are doing a seven day free trial. So you don't want to miss out on that. Please go click the link below and check that out. So let's get into this. So if anybody does not know what XRP is, XRP is the crypto, Ripple is the company. I suggest you come over here to ripple.com to check this out. I'm not going to stay on this website long, uh, but it solves cross-border payments, uh, crypto liquidity, and central bank digital currencies. Um, if you go over here to its customers and just check out the customers that it has, these are in different parts of the world. In a lot of different countries, they have a lot of different partnerships. Obviously, in the US, they do not right now due to the SEC lawsuit that is under. Um, but I mean, they have a lot of big companies in here and Bank of America being a very, very big one of those companies. Um, if you go over here to about, uh, kind of tells you their story and you know why they're doing what they're doing. Uh, it's a pretty cool website and is very uh, informational if you do not know what this crypto is. Here, all right, so we're over here at coinmarketcap.com. Uh, we're looking at Ripple here. It's up to 45 cents right now. Uh, market cap is a little over 23 bill. Uh, circulating supply is almost 60 bill in circulation. A little shy of that. Uh, if you go over here, look at the volume on this thing right now. Uh, like 2.41 billion in volume. Uh, it's over double what it was earlier. Uh, it's crazy. This thing's just cranking. Yeah, this morning it was only 1.20 billion in volume. So yeah, this thing's almost what, over doubled in volume, which is pretty crazy. Um, you go over here to the market cap of this thing and you kind of see where it's been trading at. Um, then we're going to click over here. This is the weekly chart on XRP from my trading view. As you can see, we have been riding in this trend right here where we basically came to an apex. I knew at some point this thing was going to have to make a move. Uh, and obviously, we're getting some good bullish uh, momentum right now. And there's a lot of reasons for this, which I'm going to be getting into here shortly. Uh but yeah, we knew it was out of Apex and it had to break out of it eventually. Um, I'm going to go over here to check out the EMAs on this thing. They're all turning upward. If you can take a look here, they're all starting to go turn upward, which is really, really good sign. Um, we can see what they're going to do going forward. But I, I feel pretty good about this for a few different reasons. And I'm going to kind of get into where I think the price could go. Um, into where to be cautious at. Uh, and I'll kind of tell you guys where what I'm going to be doing with my plan and my strategy to get and start to de-risking and deleveraging out of my positions that I have of this. Um, all right, so we're over here on the daily chart and I just kind of wanted to show you guys that um, I have basically been trading, we've been trading on the trend lines that I've drawn here and we have come up to an apex on, this is on the daily and on the weekly, it's the same thing. We had to come to, we came to an apex here and we had to make a move one way or the other. Um, and I felt the way that this pattern was setting up, it was very bullish and I had a very good feeling that this was going to happen. However, 
Let's see where we think the price could get. Now, these are the levels that I'm going to start deleveraging my positions at. Um, I have one here set at 55 cents. Now, if you guys remember um, back a few months ago, uh, 55 cents was one that we could not break past. And then it started falling. I'm going to, I'm probably going to pull out a pretty small percentage of uh, my position here. I'm going to deleverage a little bit of it here at 55 cents. Um, I'll probably do another deleveraging here uh, at 86 cents. Uh, and then a, a dollar five cents is probably, I don't know that it'll break a dollar five. I think that that's a very, very big uh, resistance level. We might get to the one thirties, but I highly doubt it. I hope, I hope we do. Um, and I'm, I'm not going to deleverage all of my bags. I have short-term bags and long-term bags that I hold of XRP. So my long-term bags kind of, I leave stored away in my ledger and my short-term bags I will be trading with. And like I said, I'm going to start deleveraging at these certain levels here. And then I obviously will keep some to try to deleverage in case we get up to these levels. We're going to go over here to um, this article that I found. And it says Ripple XRP is expected to make a big comeback in 2023. And if you guys read this article, it kind of just tells you what XRP is. Um, XRP is a digital currency that lets people send money across borders quickly and cheaply through its blockchain-based decentralized platform. Ripple XRP has been gaining traction as a popular choice for remnants and cross-border settlement solutions thanks to its ability to handle high volumes of transactions with minimal fees and lightning fast speeds. Um, if you guys want to go check this site out, it's called livemint.com. I'm going to go over here. Just another article saying how it surged 6% and then was trading between 41 and 43%. Obviously, we have broken that now. Um, and the next thing I'm going to go show you guys, this is where it starts getting pretty cool and pretty interesting. Um, so if you guys do not know who John Deaton is, uh, I suggest you guys kind of look into him a little bit, but John Deaton is the founder of CryptoLaw.us and founder of Deaton Law Firm. Uh, and he's one of the good guys. Most people know him as the attorney who is using his skill set and training to bring a class action lawsuit on the behalf of all XRP holders who feel damaged by the actions of the SEC, placing the lawsuit on to XRP. So, or Ripple, I should say. Um, so right here, I have a little video. I want you guys to watch it. It's three minutes and 36 seconds, but it is actually very informational. And John Deaton is the one um, that is speaking here. So check this out. Uh, it's very informational and uh, I think it's worth the watch. Goes to the Supreme Court, they're going to win. Now, that's pretty confident for me to say. I said 100%, I'm sure. And there are not many things you're sure in 100% because this Supreme Court, it overturned Roe versus Wade. No matter what your position is on it, it was 50 year press, they're conservative justices. And if you look at the EPA West Virginia case that uh, Professor uh, JW and I talked about recently, that's the case where they slapped down the EPA for extending its jurisdiction without congressional authorization. Does that sound familiar? A federal agency? And, and if you look at Michael Kellogg and his firm, he's a specialist in regulatory and appellate issues. And so if the SEC were to get an outright win, which I don't think will happen, but if they did, this is going to appeal for sure. And Ripple will just continue to do business as they have been. And then we're going to wait and watch for a victory in the appellate courts. Now, the more interesting question, in my opinion, and is if Ripple gets a victory mm -hmm. by Judge Torres, will the SEC appeal? And I don't see a reason why they would appeal. And I'll tell you, Nick, the best chances for the SEC is right now with Judge Torres at the federal district court for everything I just told you about uh, why Ripple would appeal. So uh, 
if Ripple wins, is Gary Gensler going to be at the SEC several years from now, five years from now, if it goes to the Supreme Court? Of course not. So if you know that you're really, really likely going to lose on appeal, but can get a political win right now, what do you think Gary Gensler is going to do? And what I mean by a political win is the best thing the SEC would have if they lose is the threat of appeal. And so do I think they will threat to appeal it? Sure. And what would happen? They would use the threat of an appeal to try to negotiate a settlement post Judge Torres's decision where they get to say, okay, Ripple will get, we'll waive our appeal. We'll agree that Judge Torres's decision that secondary market sales are not securities and that uh, your uh, ongoing and future sales are not securities. If you agree to pay $25 million, pick a number, right? And Ripple may very well entertain that. And then Gary Gensler could say, yes, we, we, we got a victory. We got millions and millions of dollars. But more importantly, he gets to go after his other targets in present day. And wow. that's the that's the issue. And so um, Ellie uh, Tarrant said that they are even beefing up the crypto enforcement at the SEC now, today, even though a year ago they doubled the SEC crypto enforcement. And so why would you appeal it, take the risk of a loss, you know, when you could get that political win. And Gary Gensler doesn't care about the law. He doesn't care about investors. He cares about himself and his political ambition. So, so that's why I feel that way. All right. All right, so I thought that video was pretty cool, super informational, watching John Deaton speak there. I'm pretty excited that we could possibly see a ruling here on the uh, SEC Ripple case. Uh, it's been a long time coming. However, I don't know that the SEC would not appeal it if Ripple outright won the case. The reason why I say that is because I feel like they've been trying to kick the can down the road as long as they possibly can. I think that they're trying to suppress the price and just drag this lawsuit out as long as they possibly can. I hope I am wrong. Uh, but you know, that just kind of makes sense to me. Um, I also will be careful of the buy of the rumor, sell the news type of situation here because right now we're getting a lot of bullish price movement and I think it's due to the chatter and the hype surrounding, uh, the end of the SEC ripple case and there being a ruling coming out soon. So be careful of that. As long as you watch the key levels that I explained in the TA portion of this video, I think you'll be just fine. Uh, I was on vacation for a week, so there was a lot of crazy stuff that happened when I was gone. I was itching to do a video. I'm glad to be back and back to reality. Uh, it's crazy watching the banks fall. I had a feeling this was going to happen for quite a while. I knew that we were going to get a black swan event type situation, which we did. It's kind of funny how we're seeing digital assets starting to bolster, especially Bitcoin. And uh, I have some ideas of where I think that could go. I'm going to be doing a video here in the next couple of days. That's going to be explaining where I think the market is going to go from here. Uh, you do not want to miss that one. That's going to be a really, really informational video. And I think it's going to be, uh, awesome for you guys. So if you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. That way you get the notification bells every single time a new video comes out. Please hit the like button and please comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this whole SEC versus Ripple case. What do you think the price is going to go to? Um, do you think that I'm right? Do you think that I'm wrong within my assessment of this situation? And I will catch you guys on the next one. As always, have a Beautiful, blessed day. Much love. Take care. Yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah. I really feel it's my time. Think it's my pen ready. Used to hold myself back. My self esteem damn padded. Gotta keep on chugging. Ran through everything in front of me. Might smoke bed heavy. Got a whole agenda. 